hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by peter obi blast ahmed bolatinibu says it is not the turn of any greedy politician but the turn of nigerians <laughs> this one eh, is sweet me special how can you come out in a country where they clearly stated that they are practicing democracy to say that it is your turn to rule. If Nigeria is a sane country, the very day he made that year's statement, eh, that is the day he will be disqualified. But it is clear that the country is not working. But all of them, they will collect one after the other. Before we move on with this news, please, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also on the notification button. And that way, anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen this news i read it is the turn of nigerians not one greedy politician peter obi blast the battle gets interesting by day and the game gets tougher for the race to asorok in the 2023 general election in fact apc flag bearer bola Tinibu would have would have to contend with not only labor party's candidate peter obi but his supporters who are ready for a showdown with anyone who then plays his candidacy all right obi we have to compete tightly with the jagaban of lagos in a game that many have described can be won by the strong-hearted. Peter Obi has slammed his counterpart, the All Progressive Congress APC, Asiwa Jubala Tinibu, noting that with the present condition of Nigeria, the 2023 election would not be based on ethnic or personal greed for power, as shown in the catchphrase, Emilio Khan. Okay, it is my turn. Tinibu had days before his party presidential primary told an audience at Abiyokuta in Ogun State that it was his turn to become the president of Nigeria. The Labour Party standard bearer on Wednesday, July 6th, lamented the current economic situation of Nigeria that has brought untold hardship to the People Daily Time Nigeria report. He said, I don't want people to vote for me because I am from the South South or South East. I want them to vote based on competence. Nigeria has problem because people are jobless and we need to lift the country out of poverty. It is an economic problem and I have the capacity to lift the country out of its current quagmire. It is the turn of Nigerians, not one greedy politician. Kai! Mm. Oh, you cannot listen to this man without falling in love with him. This is why they are having sleepless nights. This is why they are roasting. Let us continue. Let me be coming down. Let's continue. The former Anambra state governor maintained that he is ready to change the narrative if elected president in 2023. All right. And uh, that is it for you all. The truth is bitter. I actually read some comment on social media. You know, it baffles me though that most of uh, most of these negative comments um, are being made by some Nigerian, by the youth. But I don't want to like uh, uh, dwell too much on that because I know that most of these people are being sponsored by the same greedy politicians we are talking about now i read some comment of some people saying that peter obi maybe i'll read some of them for you guys do that peter obi is trying to be rude but the truth is bitter eh? if it is not greediness how can you come out in a country where we have over 200 million people majority are youth and you say it is your turn to rule the country, the thing is turn by turn. You have to worry to win. And you agreed with one person that it is your turn to rule. I don't understand how some people... Let me take this comment for you guys. Someone here says, Obi, maintain your lane. 
don't be rude. As see what you don't have your time. Oh. You do your campaign without insulting those that senior you. If you indeed claim obedient youth representative. Now, let's uh, take a, a comment. Someone actually replied to that comment. It says, Bart, which is um, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, Bart is a very greedy politician. After collecting 50% of Lagos State IGR for over 14 years, he still want to loot from central government. Olebruku. So, I don't know. I don't know how some people reason, though. I don't just know. If not greediness, waiting at Siwaju, Bola Tinibu, they drag power to become the president of Nigeria at his age. This time around is the time that he is supposed to be resting. I said it before that whoever that is pushing this, this man, anybody supporting this man at all to come and become the president of Nigeria is not doing this man good at all because at his age, he's supposed to sit down, rest, and let his children, his children, children. If to say not even in Peking, as Siwaju Bola Tinibu, has a son who if truly nigeria is a country a working country can stand and say i want to contest for president of nigeria and some people will stand and vote for him because he is a young and a vibrant young man but funny enough all those people they are not seeing all of this they want to support an old man whose hand is shaking that cannot even hold a book firmly I watched a video of him coming down from a staircase. I don't know if most of you have seen that video. This man was coming down and he was waving. The guy that was standing, uh, that was coming down with him was uh, 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 dragging to push him to stand straight so he will not fall. This is the man you want. A man that cannot stand firm for some minutes on his own. Ah, I don't have any personal problem with Asiwaju Bolatinibu. The only problem I have is that for me, I feel that at his age, he is supposed to be resting and let his children take care of him. Not going from one place to other, campaigning. Eh? Cam no, no. And uh, coming back to Peter Obi, actually recognizing that this movement is not about you, it's not about your party, is actually a plus for him because it is not about him nigerians are the ones who started this movement and it is good that he carries it on his head that this is not about me so that even when he gets there tomorrow he will remember that there are people who brought me here and i need to work for them that it is not just about me but it is about those people that brought me here and that is it for you all now here i talk i'm rich you all are free to disagree with me like you always do and leave your uh, opinion on the comment section with that i would say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you your love your support and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted let me know what you think and i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye bye